Hey, have you ever wanted to add country, state and city to your elemental forms? What if I told you you could do it with this brand new free plugin? It's totally free. It's totally brand new, just come out and it's going to allow you to do exactly that. What's really cool about this is that in the past you would import country, state, city into um, say a select or a checkbox. But what Elemental didn't completely allow you to do was have a hierarchy. So you pick one and then it affected the next field below. This totally does that and it is free. And I'm going to show you how to add it to your forms. <laughs> So once you've activated and installed it, and remember, it is the, di w uh, the, 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 it is the IWS Geoform fields, okay? And it is in your WordPress plugins. You can't miss it. Go and activate it. It will. The settings for it are then going to be in settings. Scroll down and you'll see IWS Geoform fields. Now, there's not a lot you have to do here. I'll show you what you can do, but believe me, there isn't a lot you need to touch here. Here's what you have a, a verb available to you. So we have select country. Let's just go for, let's go for Australia. Then we have the state available. So I'm going to go for Tasmania. And then we have the cities. Now, I've never been to Australia. I don't know anyone in Australia. Well, I do know people in Australia, but not super well. So you can look at this and confirm it. But I know it works because I've tested it out already. OK, the great thing about this plugin is it allows you to add some further locations. Now, I'm not going to do that. But if you really wanted to add in a city, you could go into here, pick your country, pick your state. And if there was a city or a location that was not currently available, you could add it into it. So you could be a bit, you know, clever with what you want to add. Now, there is one thing I will mention, though, before I forget, because I found it didn't work unless I did this, is rather than it being capital C country, capital S state and capital C cities, I changed it all to be lowercase because for some reason it didn't pick up the fields. And I'm not sure why. But once you've just taken away the capitals there, just hit save and you're ready to go. Now we're going to go over to Elemental and actually add this to a form. Over here, we're going to add in a extra field. And I'm going to make this a select field, obviously, because we're going to select the country. Now, in the label over here, I'm going to type country. You don't have to, but you can do. And then I'm going to go to advanced. And this is the key bit. You do not enter anything here into the options. If you enter anything in there, it will affect what's being pulled over. So we go out to advanced and I'm going to change the ID to be country. That's because the ID, if we go back over here, is country. All right. That it's basically telling you what to put. So if I change that to be country XXX, you need to put country XXX into here. Right. Let's now update that. And when we now preview this, we're now going to have a field here that says country select country. And look, I have a drop down. You can't see the top of it because like, there's a bit of the screen that's been cut off. But look, we have all of these countries. Right, let's just close that down. Let's just go back over. And what I'm going to now do, new do, is duplicate country and duplicate country again. Like so. Did I duplicate it? There we go. Duplicate again. I'm going to change country now to the state. Go to advanced. And I'm going to change the ID for this to be state. OK. And go down to the last one, and I'm now going to change this to be city. We go to advance, and I'm going to change the ID for this to be cities as well. Let's update that. So exciting, isn't it? So now I'm going to pick a country, and I'm just going to go for Argentina. I'm going to pick one of these states. I don't know Argentina. But there you go. Look, we have cities available. And if I was to go for something that maybe a lot of you will recognize, let's go for United States. And I'm going to go for California. There you go. We now have all of these areas available to us. I don't know why I picked California. I'm not even I'm not even American. I don't know that. So let me pick United Kingdom. Let's now pick. Uh, let's go. I mean, looks great. You know, it's got all of the areas in here and I'm going to go for Cornwall. And now some of these areas are not available. This is something I did discover actually earlier on in testing. So even though there are cities uh, within Cornwall, it's not pick them all. And this is where you might have to manually add them, but it's not difficult to add them in the settings. OK, you go to add new location and I'm going to say add a city and I'm going to pick a uh, United Kingdom. So it'll be just there. I'm going to pick the state, which will be Leicestershire. So that's where I currently live. And I'm going to enter in Leicester. So you might have to add in some individual cities. I'm sure there will be updates on this. OK, this has just come out. Don't forget. OK, we've added in a city now. 
I'm pretty sure there'll be updates coming out. And I still think this is a brilliant time efficient way to get all the countries or states in or how far down you want to go in the hierarchy into your WordPress website. And most of all, Elementor. I hope you like, subscribe, share and follow. And I'll see you soon.